OMA device management is a device management protocol specified by the Open Mobile Alliance Device Management Working Group and the Data Synchronization Working Group. The current approved specification of OMA DAM is version 1.2.1, the latest modifications to this version released in June 2008. The candidate release 2.0 is scheduled to be finalized in September 2013. Overview OMA DAM specification is designed for management of mobile devices such as mobile phones, PDAs, and tablet computers. Device management is intended to support the following uses, provisioning a Euro configuration of the device, enabling and disabling features, device configuration a Euro allow changes to settings and parameters of the device, software upgrades a Euro provide for new software and all bug fixes to be loaded on the device including applications and systems software, fault management a Euro report errors from the device, query about status of device, all of the above functions are supported by the OMA DAM specification, and a device may optionally implement all or a subset of these features. Since OMA DAM specification is aimed at mobile devices, it is designed with sensitivity to the following, small footprint devices, where memory and storage space may be limited, constraint on bandwidth of communication, such as in wireless connectivity, tight security, as the devices are vulnerable to software attacks. Authentication and challenges are made part of the specifications. Technical description, OMA DAM was originally developed by the Sync ML Initiative Limited, an industry consortium formed by many mobile device manufacturers. The Sync ML initiative got consolidated into the OMA umbrella as the scope and use of the specification was expanded to include many more devices and support global operation. Technically, the OMA DAM protocol uses XML for data exchange, more specifically the subset defined by Sync ML. The device management takes place by communication between a server and the client. OMA DAM is designed to support and utilize any number of data transports such as, physically over both wireline and wireless media, transport LES implemented over any of WSP, HTTP, or OBEX or similar transports, the communication protocol is a request-response protocol. Authentication and challenge of authentication are built in to ensure the server and client are communicating only after proper validation. The server and client are both stateful, meaning a specific sequence of messages are to be exchanged only after authentication is completed to perform any task. The communication is initiated by the OMA DAM server, asynchronously, using any of the methods available such as a WAP push or SMS. The initial message from server to client is said to be in the form of a notification, or alert message. Once the communication is established between the server and client, a sequence of messages might be exchanged to complete a given device management task. OMA DAM does provide for alerts, which are messages that can occur out of sequence, and can be initiated by either server or client. Such alerts are used to handle errors, abnormal terminations etc. Several parameters relating to the communication such as the maximum message size can be negotiated between the server and client during the initiation of a session. In order to transfer large objects, the protocol does allow for sending them in smaller chunks. Error recovery based on timeouts are not specified completely, hence, different implementations could possibly differ. The protocol specifies exchange of packages during a session, each package consisting of several messages, and each message in turn consisting of one or more commands. The server initiates the commands and the client is expected to execute the commands and return the result via a reply message. References External links OMA Device Management Working Group Release DAM 1.2 Enabler, JSA 233, J2EE Mobile Device Management and Monitoring Specification, Open Source OMA DM Simulator, Eclipse Comicy Project.